Technology is on the horizon that could effectively change the way crews fight wildfires. As CTV's Mary Cranston shows us, the innovative approach uses drones. Drones have been assisting crews in fighting wildfires for some time, giving firefighters a bird's eye view of the terrain, helping them determine where the fire moves next. But what if the drone was able to contain the fire, preventing it from spreading? Basically, we can attach something that's called a vortex cannon on the underside of a drone, and that sends rings of air um, that move at a fast pace towards a fire, and it pushes and pulls the fire plasma off of its fuel base and can put a fire out. BC resident Jesse Pound recently won a global competition with two other students for their groundbreaking firefighting technology. The passion project started from a personal connection with wildfires. My dad is a police officer, so He's often called to go help and manage these wildfires. Every year, thousands of personnel put their lives at risk to fight wildfires, often getting dangerously close. We are taking human beings, placing them within danger zones. Pound's competition required her team to partner with a company working on similar technology, which led them to RSAC, a startup based in West Virginia that hopes to launch its firefighting drones next year. The amount of loss is going up and our technology is not changing. And according to RSAC, the chemicals crews are using to fight these fires is harmful to the environment. Instead of adding foam or adding CO2, we simply change the environment that the fire is within. It's just a much more effective, safe and sustainable way to put fires out. A potential solution to a problem that continues to expand every year. Mary Cranston, CTV News, Vancouver.